Trump vented from the Oval Office that Mueller's investigators were going too far and conducting their witch hunt to undermine his presidency, according to three people familiar with the president's views but not allowed to discuss them publicly. Minutes later he publicly unleashed his sharpest invective to date against the sweeping investigation, calling the Monday search a disgrace. It's an attack on our country in a true sense, he said in the cabinet room, flanked by the nation's top military brass, who watched the scene stone-faced. It's an attack on what we all stand for. Trump let loose after federal agents pierced the protective bubble around him, seizing records from the offices of longtime Trump attorney Michael Cohen, on topics including a $130,000 payment made to a porn actress who says she had sex with Trump more than a decade ago. Cohen has been an ardent defender in Trump's business, personal and political affairs for more than a decade. Cohen claims to have used a personal home equity loan to pay the adult film actress, known as Stormy Daniels, and the probe's expansion into the president's inner circle left Trump fuming. He said the raid in New York marked a whole new level of unfairness by Mueller and his team. Instead, with reporters in the cabinet room and cameras rolling, Trump opened the meeting with an unprompted four-minute critique of Mueller's investigation. I just heard that they broke into the office of one of my personal attorneys, a good man, Trump began, referring to agents who had obtained search warrants from a federal judge. The raid on Cohen's office was conducted by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan and was based at least partly on a referral from Mueller, according to Cohen's lawyer, Stephen Ryan. Trump blasted the Mueller team as the most conflicted group of people I've ever seen, labeling most of them Democrats and saying the few Republicans had worked for President Barack Obama. They're not looking at the other side, he complained, referencing the long investigation into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server. They're not looking at the Hillary Clinton horrible things that she did and all of the crimes that she committed. Mueller a lifelong Republican, and his team of attorneys have been investigating Russian interference in the 2016 election and associated misdeeds in the president's orbit since May 2017. Trump lit into sessions, repeating in public his private criticism of the attorney general for making a terrible mistake in recusing himself from the Russia probe. Trump said Sessions should have certainly let us know he would step aside in the probe and we would have put a different attorney general in. Word of the Cohen raid came as the White House suffers from decreased morale amid a period of staff turnover and policy unpredictability. It also comes as aides are girding for the release of Comey's memoir next week, which promises to reveal new details about the former FBI director's conversations with the president and the Russia probe. South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said he didn't know the purpose of Mueller's raid on Cohen, but added, I just want to let Mr. Mueller do his job without any political interference. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer of New York released a statement warning Trump against firing Mueller. The investigation is critical to the health of our democracy and must be allowed to continue, he said. Follow Miller on Twitter at